today we are sharing with you a walk through of the rotman school of management application and uh, let us look at what the application process requires you to uh, you know to log in to the rotman school of management uh, mba application you will have three sections to fill let's look at all, what all of these three sections require you to fill into the application one by one So the section one is about your personal information, and it requires you to first start with what program you want to apply to. You so you have a range of options and a range of uh, you know years and intakes that you can apply for. You know, go to the next step, which is which requires you to talk about your diversity and inclusion survey. So this is the diversity and inclusion survey that the application requires you to mention. So a uh, gender and gender identity. again look at if you look at the description that has been given you can just you know it is very easy to fill up this information over here so once this is done then we can move to the next section which talks about your work experience so add your work experience your job title your employer what is the kind of experience that you have is it a full time part time and then talk about you know add about uh, the start date and the end date then in case this is a previous experience you would also like to give a reason for leaving this the particular job following which you need to enter your annual salary if there is any bonus component to this and then add the industry and the function that you are working in in that particular position you also have the option of giving the employer website so if you think that uh, your you know the work that your company does or maybe if you are an indian working with the next company which is probably not well known across the world you can just give the employer website which will help them also understand you know what the company is into and know more about your work profile as well so coming to the next section it requires you to add about your activities in terms of activities the information that can be added is about your awards and achievements so you can give the name of the award you can uh, you can give the name of the award you can select the type of activity that it was so it could be an academic professional or community so these are the three categories for which uh, the uh, the rotman mb application form requires you to add the awards or achievements or any activities that you have been a part of again then there is a date of uh, that achievement or award and going forward you can also add a description as to why and how you received that award so once you have added all this information you can proceed to the next part of the application which is about the video interview so the video interview component will be live only after you have submitted the application so right now what you need to do is to understand that you will receive the link within 2 days after your application has been submitted the next part in this section is about the references so you need to add two professional references academic references are not accepted by the rotman school of management mba application and uh, you need to add references their name email address verify their uh, email address and add their phone number plus you can add a message about about your request for the reference for the referee as well there is no limitation as such to uh, provide only the organization or the corporate email addresses you can provide the gmail or the yahoo email addresses but at times it might be required by the school to you know give additional explanation as to why you are adding a gmail id and not the professional uh, email address for your referee so we are done with the first section of the application uh, the rotman mba application now let us move to the second section the second section requires you to add about uh, add the information about your academic scores as well as your test scores so let's look at what the academic scores requires you to do so you need to talk about your post secondary education only but, um, so the rotman mba application does not require your 10th or 12th marks as such they only need your post secondary education so when you start you need to put in your uh, university and if you do not find your university by chance you need to uh, you know add the university name and the city and the country add identifiers for that and it can be added to the system however we are choosing a university from the list right now and then you need to also specify whether this was for credit so did you earn credit so your mark sheet or your transcripts from your college will 
tell you the will give you the number of credits that you have earned for every particular course so you can add that it is for credit or it is not for credit in case it is uh, a course that you have uh, gained credits for you need to provide your unofficial transcript at this point in time again there is a limitation on the size of the file so make sure that you put all of your transcripts into one uh, particular attachment which is of that particular size itself now the start date and the end date of the program of course and whether it is a full time or a part time program uh, followed by the type of education it has been and then what is the degree that you are achieving at the end of this program and what is the major that you had if there is any specialization or any major or minor subjects in this you can add that so we have done this for you can do this for all your masters as well as your bachelor's education now the next section talks about the test scores so test scores the first part of this uh, test score is your gmat or gre score so if you are planning to take the gmat you can say that you've scheduled to take it in the fu future or you've already taken it if you say that you've already taken it you need to add your gmat score otherwise you can say that you have scheduled and you can give the appointment uh, detail at the same time uh, the gre button so if you are going in for the gmat make sure that you fill up the gre button as well so just say no if you are not taking up the gre score at all as far as the rotman mba application is concerned it offers an exemption if you have a cfa level 2 level 3 or if you are a charter holder so in that case you can also you know apply for that exemption for the language proficiency test uh, you need to first ensure whether you are applicable so whether this test is applicable for your case or not if your language or if your transcript mentions that the language of instruction of your uh, particular course the instruction and examination has been in english then you do not need to submit any ielts or any toefl or any pt score for uh, the rotman mb application in case you are not exempted in that case you have to again mention whether you've already taken the test or you've scheduled to take it in the future so if you are scheduled to take it in the future then you need to mention which test you are planning to write let's say it is the ielts academic and then you need to give a future test date so this is on the language uh, proficiency test coming back to the professional designations in case you have a cfa or you don't have a cfa if you have a cfa then you can just mark it out over here you need to add your uh, uh, cfa candidature over here as well so you need to add your cfa credentials over here otherwise you can just go ahead add no and move on if you have any professional association memberships like the icai or any other association memberships you can add that this section is completely optional right so moving to the next section this section 3 is about your sa and your supplemental items so let's look at what the sa requires you to do there is this uh, the uh, rotman mba sa is the the topic for the rotman mba sa is to explain your spike factor something unique about yourself that you believe will contribute to the rotman community and is aligned with rotman values so the word limit this time is 500 words so this is uh, the response that you require to put in for the rotman mba sa for the application the next section requires you to talk about uh, two things one is your resume so for example if you are planning to upload a resume you will have a drag and drop option or you will have an uploading option where you and in case you have selected uh, to talk about some spike factors with the photographs then you need to put all your fire spikiest uh, pictures into a single pdf document and upload it in this section this is a completely optional section again it has uh, special guidelines for uh, the uploading and the document preparation so make sure all the documents are there to those guidelines and this brings us to the last section of the application which is about the signature and the completion of the application and this is this is all that the rotman application will ask you for 